Hi, everybody. This is International Second Vice President Lion Bryan here, coming to you from next door in Minnesota. A huge thank you to District Governor Tammy for giving me the opportunity to reach out and say thank you to the Lioness of Multiple District 27D1. I am so proud of the things that you have done. We have all done for those in need for the last 104 years. Some of us here have served our communities for many years. For me, it has been 30 years, others maybe more, and for some just a few months. We have served as Lions, Lioness, and Leos, as well as our non-members of our communities that have helped and assisted us in our works. I have one thing to say to anyone and everyone that has helped us. If <laughs> we hear a thank you for each and every one of you, or for every person you've affected, we would be here for the rest of the year and in the next year. In fact, I'd probably be a past president by that time. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to the lioness. Like I just said, I have one thing to say to anyone and everyone that have helped us. Thank you. But I want to give a special thank you to this lioness who have served this great organization for many years. I have the utmost respect for the lioness. We're going to talk about as an agenda a continued thank you. I want to talk a little bit about the past and what a great journey you've had. And again, I want to thank you. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the current. And again, I want to thank you. And I'm going to talk a little bit why do we do what we do. And it's in order to make a great day for so many people. And again, I want to thank you. You know, Lori started her journey long ago as a lioness. Bird Island had an extremely strong lioness that have bridged and joined our club, which was not an easy journey, but has made our club so much stronger. And we are grateful for that as well. We're grateful of their years of service. Just a little bit of where we've been. First and foremost, Lioness and Lions have a strong history of working together. We always have. The organization was founded in 1917. Lions Clubs International, and like most service club organizations at that time, its members were exclusively male. A Lions, as Lions grew, women embraced the Lions mission and began forming auxiliary clubs that were quickly named Lioness Clubs because of the huge success, really because of your success, the Lioness program and emblem was developed in 1975 to officially recognize Lioness Clubs. In 1987, Lions Clubs International amended the Constitution to admit both men and women, and it was about time. While Lions Clubs International continued to support the program, the modern form of the Lioness Bridge Program's purpose has been to bridge Lioness to Lions since 1991. At the end of this Lionistic year, that Lioness Bridge Program will come to an end. This history I have just explained is just dates. It in no way shows the heart, the work, the passion, and the pride of the Lioness. We all started the same in helping out others. It has not changed for any one of you. We do not have numbers of people serve from the Lioness or the Leos. They share the enthusiasm we have for helping others and mostly helping in our community. Their capable hands in order to carry out more quality Lion service and they have a strong, strong track record with members loyalty, club growth, membership retention, publicizing service projects and brand awareness in their communities. Their ideas, their leadership, and their experience have only made Lions stronger. They can provide a new perspective on the needs of our community and their needs of our association. We can grow a stronger and more vibrant association 
with these new friendships that we've always have and we wish to carry on in the future as well. You are awesome. You're like the secret ingredient in the noodle soup of people. You're the backflip kick of humanity. Others may talk the talk and walk the walk, but you're too busy blowing minds and stopping crimes. Your awesomeness, it shines too bright, but I just can't help but look. You are a lone soldier on the battlefield of awe, igniting the flaming torch of awesome for all to see. I could keep going. Should I? Yes, we absolutely should. We cannot say enough thanks for the things you've done. Currently, there is not enough gender balance in this organization. 33% of the United States is women. It's up more than a percent from the beginning of the Lions year, but we're not there yet. FOLAC, which is South America, has over 51% women. Globally, we are just at 31.5% women. We need gender balance. I know that many of the great Lioness have branched to a Lioness Lions Club, or you've joined into a Lions Club. I truly wish and hope you all do we need you, and we want you. I know that we're trying to make our organization all-inclusive, not male or female, and, and to make it very diverse, which I do understand all takes time. No matter what and what your decision is, I want you to continue to do those projects you have always done. When you come down to the most important thing, it's not about being a lion or a lioness, but it's how we serve our community. That is what is most important. And the reasons I serve is because of lions and leos and lioness and people just like you. Isn't our goal just to make a great day for others, those that are less fortunate than ourselves? And I know the lioness of multiple district 27D1, you've done that, you've fulfilled that, and again, I just can't say thank you enough for making such a great day for so many people. I put this in a lot of my videos. It just explains that I want you to take a step back and see the wonderful things you have done, each and every one of us, to help our community. Make it a beautiful day. So keep that smile on your face. Continue to worry about our communities first. And in whatever capacity that you will continue on with this organization or not, the one thing that I love most, it's about our community first. And again, for all the years of service that the Lioness have done, passionately from the bottom of my heart I, I truly want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you for all you have done thank you district governor for allowing me to be able to do this and to thank the lioness and the strong lioness of of wisconsin and especially the strong lioness of district d1 i hope you all have a good day but more importantly i hope you all make a great day for yourself but more importantly for others Thanks again for having me here virtually.